Hey guys and welcome to our cinema. Today, my friend, we are going to learn how to make parametric roof or stress or ETF roof in Ruby. So this will be our first tutorial in our cinema. So let's head on to the tutorial. Click on new and choose architecture template. This will be our basic works workspace for Revit. So first, while creating a parametric group, we first need to draw reference plane. So reference plane is top right corner in architecture ribbon and the shortcut key is RP. Click on reference plane and draw three reference plane. I'll be drawing three reference plane. You can draw whatever number you want. So I'll be drawing only three reference plane. Now name all of the three of the reference plane. I'll be naming first, second, and third. So this one will be my first one, and this one will be my second one, and last one is the third one. So why are we creating the reference plane? So it is important to have a roof section or roof profile section to have a to create parametric roof in Revit, so we need to have three different reference plane. So to draw that roof section, go to massing inside, click on it, and choose in place mass. You will know what I am talking about about the roof section. So our line is horizontal and is perpendicular to north and south direction. We will be choosing south a south tab in elevation from project browser. Now we are in elevation. Now to draw the roof section profile, click on reference line and click on new name. Sorry, click on name and choose the first one. First reference plane we have drawn. And draw, click on spline and draw a spline. A spline is just a curve line. Make it simple and repeat the process for second reference plane. Set the work plane and name the second one. Click OK and draw again. Same for the third one. See how easy it is? Not difficult at all go to the tree view to check the reference line we have drawn now we have created three spline line in three reference plane hold the control key and click on the tree spline and create the form Click on create form and we have created a shape, group shape. Now click on the whole shape and divide the surface. Click on divide surface and we will have a pattern, a rectangular pattern on the surface and you can check you can change the rectangular pattern to your needs from the properties panel in U grid and B grid. We have 10 10 grids. I'll be living into living into 10 number of grids. So we have done most of the part in project. Now we'll be creating trust family. So to create the trust family, go to file, new and family. Click on the family. Choose cotton panel pattern with family. So this will be our layout for the cotton pattern panel based family. Now to create the space truss, click on the reference and click the reference point and set the work plane. Choose the horizontal base work plane. Click on it and click the point. 
Again repeat the same process, click on the horizontal base and click point. So this will be our final one. Now move the points to the Z direction or upwards. Do same for all of the points. Hold the control key on and click all of the four points and change the offset value and make the offset value of 1500mm. Now we have the floating points. Now draw a reference line. The reference line in all of the four points makes your 3D snapping checked. Makes your 3D snapping checked and click all of the four points. Now we have made a panel, panel for the space truss. Again draw a reference line on the bottom grid from midpoint to the midpoint of the opposite lines. From the midpoint to the midpoint of the opposite lines. Now we have to add the center midpoint on the line. So click on reference and choose reference point and place it on the midpoint of that line we have just created. Again draw a line from another alternate side of the midpoint to the midpoint to the midpoint those three parallel lines. Follow me what I am doing. Now we have created two. Now we will be creating now we will draw diagonal line. So draw a diagonal line to, of the edge of the panel to the midpoint of the bottom line. Now we have basic skeleton of the roof truss or space truss. So we have made a basic skeleton. Now we will be adding some volume in it. Hold control and click the four above panel and click on the create form from the river ribbon. So we have made a panel, glass panel. Decrease it its thickness to 50 mm now change its material to glass click on the panel and now click on the material go to material and change its material to glass Change the graphics to realistic view and you can see that we have material glass panel. Now we'll add now we'll add a bar bar in this skeleton. So to create the bar first we need to add points. So place a point in one of the midpoints of the upper of the upper panel and place one point of the diagonal and also point at below. Now we'll add a profile section to the bar so click on model line and choose circle and set the work plane on that point on one of the points and draw a circle I don't know what's happening uh, let me do it again
idea I got to now I'll change the dimension to 100 mm radius I'll repeat the same process for order points also I will make the diagonal diagonal line and have the circle of 50 mm for bottom one I will have 150 mm We have all the points and circles we needed. Now hold the control key and click all of the four lines in the above panel. Now along with that, click the circle also and create the form. Now you have panel bars. Repeat the same process for all of the bars. Okay, I think I have done some mistake in here. Let me correct it. Yeah, draw circle on this is and create form. Don't draw it on the center of the points center of that line draw it all this way so for now diagonal bar same process for the diagonal bars click on two diagonal bars and click on the circle and create form now we have basic roof truss unit or space truss unit we will be loading it into a project into our project now click on load into project to 3d view click on the grid, grid pattern and change the grid pattern from properties to our family we have just created click on it now we have got the panel we needed change it to realistic view and now we have the space truss to create the etfe roof just remove the truss below you will be you will have a space truss I mean ETF roof. So this is how you create space cross in Revit. Hope you have learned today. Thanks for watching the video and bye bye. See you next time.